uh, Winch's desire was always very clear. The one and only heir to his fortune has to be his adopted son. But there's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, here's a boy from Lord knows where and who claims to be the heir to the world's fifth largest fortune. It's outrageous. Mr. Wallenberg, have you previously met or even glimpsed this young man? Mary always liked to keep his secret secret. Have you, yes or no, met this man before today? No. So in short, nobody knows you. Where is the proof? You must think we're stupid, young man. You don't know whom you're dealing with here. With good lawyers, we could drag this out for years. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. Mr. Kwan, is that right? That's right, yeah. William Kwan, near you admired your university career. Princeton, Harvard, your mother must be very proud of you after raising you on her own. Do you still check the knot of your tie every time you feel awkward? Near you told me about you. Near you told me about every one of you, so believe me, I know exactly who I'm dealing with. Near you anticipated your reactions. Shortly after I was adopted, he transferred all his majority holdings to the Amstel base in Liechtenstein. Now, Mr. Wallenberg, could you explain to our friends here the specific workings of that company? The shares are bearer shares. In other words, the person who physically had those shares is the owner of the company. In this way, the company can be passed on without paying any inheritance tax. And to become the new owner, the heir has only to recover the shares. Ten shares, to be precise. Ten shares hidden in a location that I'm the only one to know about. And that's all the proof that I need. Now, of course, if you still feel like contacting your lawyers, please go ahead. <laughs>